in for review today is the uh, carbon fiber tripod from Zomi. It's the Z818C model that I'm looking at. Here we can see what's included in the pack. Apart from the tripod, we have a few other accessories that are here, including a bag, and you also have an Allen key and an extender. Moving in a bit close to the bags gives you a rough idea of the size of it. It is padded on all the sides and on the bottom section as well, so it offers some pretty good protection. I'm quite impressed with this bag. It's actually quite a lot better than some of the bigger name maker bags that I've had with tripods. With this, you have the carrying handles at the top, and on the side here, you'll see there is a gray patch. That's actually light reflective. It's sort of a safety feature that they put in there if you're using it out at night. Handles here, nicely sewn on, quite strong. You also have a Velcro fold over section, so you can put the two together there and close it up. Again, there's a bit of padding on that as well. Certainly nothing to fault as far as the case goes. They've done a really nice job on this one. It provides plenty of protection for the tripod, even if you knock it over or drop it. Two zip opening here, makes it fairly easy to get into, and we have a lining inside. Again, this section is padded too. And these are the hooks here for the shoulder strap, which you can attach. This is the shoulder strap here. So you have two options for carrying that. It's adjustable as well, and you have a padded section in the middle. You get a double-sided thread here, which is used with the extender. The extender can be used as that, or it can replace the central column on its own. So that's worth um, having that. It's slightly different design from some of the smaller models that I've looked at. The instructions are quite basic, and to be honest, they're not particularly good. The Allen key is here as well. It gives you a rough idea. The diagrams are a bit small. Here is the tripod extended to the full size, and that is around about uh, 165 centimeters or 65 inches. That's without the extender on. With the extender column, it's 72 inches and 183 centimeters in height. Twist lock on the central column here, and you also have a hook where you can attach an additional weight or bag. Again, for the four section leg releases, it's a twist lock. These are aluminium with rubber on the outside, so they get fairly good grip on those. And you can see the carbon fiber. Moving to the ball head, this has a panoramic function. This is dampened, so it doesn't move very freely. It has some resistance and it's quite smooth. The bottom knob here will lock that off, the rotation. And if you turn that off again, you can rotate. It doesn't, as I said, it doesn't freely rotate around, so it's quite, it's quite a nice head to use for video as well, even though you don't have a handle. The quick rela release plate is uh, Arca Swiss style, and it's more square in shape. You'll see on the side here a button. That's a quick release button, and you'll see that column pushing down when I push that in. The main knob here that controls the, the ball joint itself and it's quite a good feel on that. The the knobs on these are metal as well, they're not plastic or rubber coated, they're they're full metal. It's a fairly nice head, oversized a ball joint on this, and it gives a reasonable amount of tactile feedback. You can tighten it up or provide a bit of movement. You'll see we have two spirit levels on this side. And when I turn it around here, you'll notice that we have another spirit level on the edge of the knob here. So if you have the head in a different position, you can also align it correctly. Three in total, so that should cover every conceivable angle that you'll have. It's possible to remove the head and indeed the platform below it. That just comes undone and unbolts. You have this hand strap here, which can be removed too. You can pretty much disassemble the entire tripod. Here I could fit the short extension column 
and replace the standard column with that. The reason that you might want to do that is because if you use the tripod at the lowest angle in the leg positions here at the lowest point, you see that the tripod is very low down and you'll have additional height with the standard column included. So you have a choice. You can either do that, exchange them, or you can reverse the column. As you can see here, it's a long column, so it depends what you particularly want to do with that. On the feet, you'll see a special mechanism. If you unscrew it, it makes it flat and it conceals the spikes. They're not sharp spikes, but they provide some grip in uneven ground. When you screw it down, they're exposed. These spring lock mechanisms here allow you to adjust the angle in three different positions for the legs. That's in contrast to some of the cheaper models that I looked at, which only had two, and I found that possibly a bit limiting. On the bottom here, you can see I have the plate, and it also has a D-ring built in, which means that you don't need any additional tools to unscrew it or screw it up. For the monopod, it's a slightly different procedure with this. You have to use the double-sided threaded bolt, and you unscrew the padded leg which has the logo on it or the maker's name rather. The other tripod I looked at before this you could just screw them directly into each other but with this you have to add that to it. So you just screw this into that section. And then into the top part of the column here. Here we have the monopod assembled. Just to give you an idea here, there's a door to show you roughly what the size is. And it's quite a tall monopod, and as is the tripod, it's quite a tall tripod too. So there's not going to be any problems with regards height. What I'm doing is just having a very quick look at some of the other tripods I have with me at the minute. This is um, a smaller one I bought off eBay. This has a similar flip over leg design that the uh, Z818C has, but it's a much smaller tripod and it has a twist lock mechanism for the leg locks. Now I use this for, in this case there's an LED light on top there, but I sometimes use that as a very, very small portable tripod. I found that the tabletop tripods were not particularly useful to me if I needed to get a bit of height. It doesn't go very high that one, but it is a very useful travel one. If I look over here, which is what I've been using for the video, this is a Velbon tripod which has a special boom arm on it. This came with it, but um, they sell the boom arm on its own. It's really just to show you that there are some variations in design with tripods. This particular one is completely different from the standard central column, which is on the Z818C. This is a close-up shot of the boom arm, and I couldn't actually remove this and put it onto the other tripods if I wanted to. It is removable. You can see that the central column is completely flexible. So I use this quite a lot for low-down shots and angles like that, and you can adjust the length of the column via the gearing here. It's important to note that the tripod I'm reviewing today doesn't have a geared central column, so you'll have to adjust that yourself. It depends what type of photography that you're doing. All of these tripods are actually slightly different and they have different strengths and weaknesses. The 818C is really designed as a full-size but compact travel tripod. You can see I've removed the central column here. All of the blue parts here, there's a few different colours that you can get for this tripod, are aluminium, anodised aluminium. And here I am just fitting in the short extender column. This has a groove in the side as well, just exactly the same as the normal column does. And you'll see a corresponding marking here. There's some plastic in here and there's a tab which guides that too. Wrapping up with a final conclusion and summary on the tripod, the Z818C. Most of the design and features of the tripod are good. You have a nice case and the ball head was also quite impressive. It's very smooth in use and it felt very sturdy. Um, this is a fairly light tripod for its size because of the carbon fibre compared to an aluminium. You will notice the weight difference. It's about 3.5 pounds or 1.5 kilos, the head and the legs included in that so you might want to weight it down a bit if you're outside in a breezy condition. Um, the only thing which I would say is a disadvantage with the tripod is if you're using the monopod a lot or 
a lot of low down shooting you might need to change over the column or use the extender that's something which is a compromise and an advantage in its own you, um, it gives you a bit of extra flexibility but it's something else to carry around so there might be better tripods for macro work or close up low to the ground shooting but for a general purpose tripod that's portable and well built I'm quite impressed with this particular model and I think um, the overall package is quite an impressive one.